Hello and what is going on today guys, Tom Cat here and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat yet again where we are going to be turning our E30 M3 into a grip car as part of the story. So we're jumping back into our let's play of the story and this episode is going to cover, like I said, customizing the E30 M3, turning it into a, gr turning it into a grip car and testing out the grip physics with race tires and multiple other grip focused mods as well as, tur as transitioning into night, doing a couple of night races and going over our first encounter with the cops. Now, I do want to go ahead and preface this with the fact that the cops were not very aggressive in this chase, but again, we had a low-level car, we were in a low-level chase, and we didn't really get very far out of heat level one in this particular video, but don't worry, I have more footage coming very, very soon of much more intense cop chases involving faster cars, higher heat levels, and more intense um, cop behavior or cop chase behavior. So if you take a look at the handling square over there on the right, you could see that you can build the car one of, or well, direct it in the direction of one of four ways. You could do it in the direction of a, like a grip car, a drift car, an off-road car, you know, all these different directions that I know technically that was only three, but also... Also, 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 these big country labs wings are, like, ridiculous. They're off the charts. They're insane. I'm, if you didn't see my Mustang drift build video, then you'll know, like, if you saw that, you, you'll you know that even though they're ridiculous and over the top, I'm happy they're here. Um, but if you didn't see that video, I'm just absolutely tickled that they're here. And I think it's just so cool that they went, you know, they went above and beyond with parts that they really didn't necessarily need to put in here, but they still did. And I think that that's freaking amazing that they did and they went the extra mile to grab those parts for this game and build them for this game, model them for this game. So we're going all the way around the car and doing pretty much full DTM Fiberworks kit everywhere. Got a big APR wing on the back. Really wanted to build this car in very much of a grip spirit because in my opinion, you know, if we're going to have the option to really utilize our grip physics, we might as well build cars that suit that style. Now, I'm not saying don't build drift cars. I mean, I've already got a video out there building a full-on drift car with that Mustang, and I also have more drift car videos coming very, very soon, more customization-focused videos coming soon, but again, if you're going to build a grip car, you might as well build it in, in like, a grip style, which is why I went for the uh, predominantly functional aero with the, um, you know, the really functional, functional look fenders, and with the very functional wing, you know, like, functional hood, like, everything that I put on this car is basically things that I would put on a real E30 M3 that I was building for the purpose of grip, so I could definitely see this car being used as a dual purpose, like, street car slash track day car, or if you wanted to strip out the interior and go full track day car, you could, but that's beside the point, that's not about Need for Speed Heat, and Need for Speed Heat is the topic here at hand. We kept all of the parts that we went with before, um, decided not to really put the sound system in. I didn't really feel the need to, um, but we kept all the parts from before, like the turn down exhaust and the, um, the, the blacked out, um, inner headlights. But this time, like I said, we're piecing out of the garage and jumping into nighttime. Now, nighttime brings out a whole different animal in this world, and it brings out a whole new set of visual elements as well as audio elements and just elements of gameplay, right? Because during the night, you're a lot more uh, you're a lot more in that space of kind of being that illegal street racer persona, right? Like, kind of it, it really does portray um, you really taking on a little bit more of that illegal street racer role. So as you can see in the center, you have your heat level, and that will go up throughout the night the more cops you encounter. Now I. I should have known that I wasn't going to get that billboard. I mean, I tried for it, and it didn't really happen. And like I said, I should have known that I, that I wasn't going to get it because the billboards, the billboards, you might as well wait until you get a faster car to try and go after the billboards because most of the billboards are definitely built for faster cars. But looking at the night from a, from kind of the standpoint of visuals, it really does go to show that they've done a lot of work here to make the night not feel... Um, we ended up actually getting that one, but they've done a lot of work to make the night not feel too gloomy. They've made the, they've done a lot of work with the lighting to make, to make nighttime feel alive. And I think with that being said, it really shows in the way the street lights shine onto the road and the way you see the lights of the city in the distance and the way that everything really like portrays itself. Like, because cities, 
are still alive during the night, you know, like especially down in Florida, like, you know, these big cities like Miami and stuff like that, they are all very alive during the night. And the game does a good job of portraying the world as being alive during the night. Now, I know that, again, we're going to get into this whole debate about like, well, there's not enough traffic. The game doesn't feel alive. It, trust me, it feels a lot more alive when you mix the traffic with real-life players driving around within that game world. Now, even the night races take on a dynamic of their own because you've got, like, you know, people milling around with, like, speakers in the back of, in the back of a pickup truck, you know, just kind of chilling, like, recording on their phones. It definitely has a little bit more of an illegal feel and a little bit more of a, you know, um, a little bit more of, like, a... Uh, casual feel like hey you know we just met up set up a race and now we're gonna go for it like gone is the feel of the you know very legitimate sanctioned organized racing of the daytime and incoming is the feeling of you know um, very like spontaneous spontaneous nighttime illegal street racing that really has a different feel to it and really kind of had like takes on a different character now, again, in this race, I ended up getting out, out front of the AI really, really quick, and that gave me a little bit of time to sort of look around at the visuals more. And again, you know, you'll see these signs on the buildings, like, for example, the city center sign, um, that, that you didn't notice before or that you might not have noticed before until they were lit up. And again, it really does give off that vibe of... of of being alive, you know, at night, being a living, breathing space at night. And I think that, you know, I think that, yes, you know, say what you will about traffic again, but this this lighting really takes me back to carbon in a lot of ways. I mean, looking at this lighting now, it makes me go, that reminds me so much of carbon. And it's, it's, it's weird because it reminds me even more so of carbon than it does of underground in a lot of ways because underground was a little bit more on the, like, gritty side, whereas, like, not necessarily gritty, but, like, in the, the, the style of the city was a little bit more, a little bit more on that gritty side, um, and then Most Wanted 05, it was really, like, you know, definitely, you know, had that, that gritty style, but, man, Carbon really started to bring some color into that, you know, into those nighttime scenarios, and this game, it, Heat, really, really does a good job of, of taking elements from that, you know, those vibrant colors that we saw at night in Carbon and giving you the day, the option of playing during the day, but also giving you the option of playing during the night. And the cool thing about it is that this nighttime and daytime are so well, like, like are so, so well finished off and so well, like, fleshed out that this game could literally be set either during the day or set at night. So now you can see our heat level has gone up to one and we could return to the garage to level up or we could keep um, roaming around and getting some stuff done. Now you do get a limited number of repairs so you need to make sure you remember that. Now I went through the gas station not really knowing that like I was pretty much good to go still but I decided to set my GPS for another race seeing that I was well above the required um, my, my car had all the numbers down. I mean, like, we were like nine points above the, the, the not even requirement, but recommendation. So I was like, hey, I'll get another one done. No big deal. I want more rep. So I decided to head on over there. And again, also, you could see that there's these little uh, quick challenges that are scattered throughout the world, like, you know, your speed traps and your speed uh, zones and stuff like that, and also your drift spots. But again, you know, going back to talking about visual styles, I couldn't help but just get more and more and more and more Need for Speed Carbon vibes from the way this city is laid out during the night. And again, this game could be set during the day or it could be set during the night. And both of those are finished off well enough for the game to be set in either one. And that's why it's so insane to me that we have the option of going both ways. I mean, you know, say what you will about, you know, about this, that, and the other thing about the game. But to be honest, I think that the fact that we have the option of day or night just about whenever we want to change it and whenever we want to play in one we can play in that one whenever we want to play in the other one we can play in that one and we can really spend however much time we want in day or night I think that really goes to show how much they really have listened and how much they really are paying attention to the community in terms of what the community wants out of a need for speed game because again you know with 2015, I mean, there was a freaking daytime mod because people wanted to play during the day, you know, but with, but with payback, everybody's like, well, we're spending all our time, you know, all our time running around during the day. Well, here, 
you have that as a option. And again, you know, I, I, I know I keep stressing this as a point over and over again, but I really do think they've hit the nail on the head with giving people options. Now, let's talk about these grip physics. Let's talk about these grip physics, because as you can see, you can still move the car around in a sideways slide, right? You can still move the car around in a sideways slide, but the car, for one, doesn't really get as much angle, and for two, when you actually turn into the corners um, just on full grip, you can definitely see that it does not need the back end to slide in order to turn properly. It's not just a full-on plow of understeer. It's not just understeer mode anymore, which if it was understeer mode, I mean, I could understand how that would be a problem, but the thing is, they've moved past that. It's not understeer mode anymore, and the only time that I found myself using, um, like, that I found myself s still, like, actively sliding around once I had the car set up a little bit more for grip was when I needed to scrub a lot of speed off, because now that drifting actually slows you down, you can kind of use it as a bit of a, bit of a technique to scrub off speed, which could be useful in some races, but I think as the cars get faster, it's gonna be a bit of a a bit of an iffy technique to use because you'll be coming into the corners so hot already that it would have been better off to just use the brakes. So with the slower cars, it's definitely more of an option to slow down using the drifting. Um, with the faster cars, I think you're better off just braking, especially with some of the um, the really, really grip-focused cars. Um, for example, the Ferrari F40, which I'm gonna be showing you guys in a future video, that thing is like fully grip-built, fully grip-tuned, and when you're driving around, you're like, oh, this is what they meant when they were saying they were bringing in grip physics. So that car, again, will be coming very, very soon. But I want to give you guys a build up. I want to give you guys a, a rundown of like how this game builds you up from the bottom. Because if we went right to the crazy stuff, then, you know, there wouldn't be all that much. There wouldn't really be all that much of a build up. And, you know. The crazy stuff is really, really cool, but you guys need to see what the game is going to be like when you first boot it up and what it's going to be like, you know, in, in that first hour of playing it because that first hour of playing it is so important because that's where a lot of people will build their impressions of the game and will build their opinion, their opinions about the game. And I know we're like barreling head on into this box truck here, but again, it really left me with a positive taste about what they're doing and what they want to continue to do with the series and you know with this game in particular i really do think the community is going to take this game really really a really really long way because i think we're finally in that space to where everybody has something that is going to keep them satisfied you know if you want to play during the day and have a more like almost hot pursuit ish experience you could do that if you want to play during the night and kind of go back to the days of like a mixture of carbon most wanted and like underground you could totally 100 percent do that as well so driving around i was like hey we got some cops out there i want to go mess with them so that's the other thing that's really fun about night as well is just like literally scouting out cops for the purpose of messing with them and if you escape you keep that wanted level so don't think that by escaping you're all done and you're good to go and like you're out of the woods no you still have to make it back to your garage and once you make it back to your garage you know then you can end the night but i decided to chill out here and see if anybody would find me and i was like okay so he's driving around the road and is he gonna be able to spot me like i wanted to see how smart these guys were and sure enough by the time he got all the way around to the other side of the corner, he spotted me, and when they spot you, they literally make a beeline for your car. I mean, their whole objective is to deplete that health bar and or box you in so they can bust you. So with that being said, I started to scramble for a gas station because I knew that I was like, oh crap, I'm basically at half health. I need to get out of here and I need to find a gas station as quickly as humanly possible. Now, I led him on a bit of a wild goose chase here for a little while before repairing because I wasn't quite critical yet, but I was like, man, we got to get something done. You know, we got to get something done. And you'll notice that even here in the early levels on heat level one, they really do barrel into you. And when they barrel into you, it takes down a lot of your health. And so you really do have to be on your toes, even in the early levels in, you know, even in the, in the early levels in the slower cars, because like they will push you in the buildings. These cops do not have remorse for your car 
or for where you're going. Like, if you, if, if they are out to get you, they are freaking out to get you. Like, they will, they will get, they will come after you and they will make sure they stop you, whether that means fully destroying your car or boxing you in or doing something of that nature. So, right now, I was trying to just look for some sort of, like, some sort of gas station, some sort of repair, and I was trying to get away because I was like, I mean, at this point, my car's in trouble. I'm in trouble. I just want to get. I, I just want to get home. You know what I mean? I was like, man, I just want to get home, and I don't want to have to deal with these cops anymore. So, with that being said, I think another thing to keep in mind is you got to be careful about just hitting stuff because you know a lot of people are like, ah, you know, I'll just hit, I'll just hit this wall or whatever. My car will respawn. No big deal. Well, in night, like at night, that could come with its penalties because you don't just get damage from hitting cops or, well, cops hitting you. You get damaged if you hit stuff too. Like you get damaged if you hit traffic cars. You get damaged if you hit walls. You get damaged for all sorts of stuff. So that's another thing you need to keep in mind because, man, if you go critical damage, it is not going to be fun for you. Trust me, if you go critical damage, it literally sets in inside you and it sets in with that feeling of like, oh crap i need to get out of here or i'm screwed because basically if the cops catch you you end up paying a big 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 fine and they dock a lot of your uh, a lot of your in-game money so keep that in mind when you're roaming around at night and also if you find a gas station you freaking jump on it i was like where the heck is this one and i was like well the garage is so close i don't really even need to stop at it so kind of and i didn't see any other cops in the area on my radar so i kind of made a you know Kind of made a little bit of a line for the garage and or well a safe house and enter the garage and ended up leveling up so if you guys enjoyed that video in need for speed heat in the story mode make sure to click that like button let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it and if you have any questions make sure to drop them down there as well and if you're new to the channel and want to see more make sure to subscribe and i will see you on the next one talk to you guys later